All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores coming with a quick burgundy and gold report, a quick Rico report. Some big time news as far as the new branding logo and what the colors will be. And also some nice insight into what the future stadium may be like as well. All of that coming up, but before we get to that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately. And every time I release a video just like this one, whether it be informative or opinionated, all of them also make sure you check out the rest of the channel the entire channel is organized in playlists so go check out my playlist as well i even have a comedy playlist follow my funny videos so again check out the rest of the channel stay tuned for more content let's get it All right, so first of all, I'm pretty sure people care about the branding, the new name, and all of that type of stuff. So we're gonna start with that, we'll get to the stadium next. But it's been reported that the new Washington name and logo will be revealed early 2022. I don't know what they mean by early. Do they mean like immediately early, like a January, or do they mean like an April? What type of early are we talking? But it sounds like we should definitely know before the 2022 NFL season starts, and sounds like we can even bet that we would know before training camp comes. So, you know, we prefer to know as soon as possible, but at least knowing for a fact that we should know before the 2022 regular season starts is great. Not knowing this season still kind of sucks because it's up in the air and all kinds of mystery. And, you know, it feels like we don't have a true identity yet, especially since we know for a fact it will just probably not be the Washington football team. This is temporary. So you can't even get attached to this name, even if you do like this name. So everybody's kind of in this ugly middle right now. But it's good to know that there is like a somewhat definitive deadline as far as the name and logo and everything, the entire rebranding being showcased. That's going to be really exciting. I'm at the live stream that because that's going to be crazy especially they tell us exactly which time and day is going to go down oh yeah i'll definitely be live streaming that announcement for sure but it said quote the new name and logo will be revealed in early 22 jason wright said and will retain the traditional burgundy and gold colors that are entrenched in the team's history so that's great to know i wanted to keep the burgundy and gold i specifically want to keep this one whatever we had two years ago for the past few years that like red and kind of yellow never was a big fan of it i prefer this deeper burgundy and gold this darker burgundy this sharper gold that we currently have so i hope that what they mean by burgundy and gold is going to be the same exact one if anything go back to the, like the daryl green days when we had the spear in the helmet that type of burgundy and gold i'm cool with that as well but that red and yellow that we basically had for a while now I'm glad we're done with that. I hope we don't go back to it. And it's kind of crazy too, because it was a year ago this week when Washington finally got rid of the old controversial name. And since then, the team has gone over 40,000 name and logo submissions from fans, focus groups, and surveys with a digital creative agency called Code and Theory. Now, do they mean like 40,000 submissions and some of those submissions were the same? Like, was it 40,000 people? Or they're literally 40,000 separate names? I don't know, because I don't even know where you could think of 40,000 separate names. But so far, the mission has been to be as transparent as possible. Jason Wright, Dan Snyder, Ron Rivera, whatever they can, they give us any insight that they can. It hasn't been perfect, but you know, it seems like the fans are at least somewhat involved, especially with that FAM program that they're running that not only encompasses the branding, but like the stadium experience, the culture around the DMV area and things like that. They're really diving in. I mean, food, tailgating and all that type of stuff. So this whole new era with Ron Rivera on the coaching side, Jason Wright in the front office has been great has a lot of fan engagement, a lot of fan input involved. We'll see with the finished product with the name, logo, and the rebranding, if fan input actually mattered. But as of right now, it seems like it actually will. Again, this isn't a definitive timeline, but this is as close as it's gonna get. Cause they sound sure of themselves saying that it will be in early 2022. And there was a brief mention back in February that it may be early 2022. So for them to reassure that makes me a little bit more relieved that it sounds like they're being consistent with when we'll finally get this new logo new name and everything it sounds like it's really going to be early 2022 because they mentioned that 
previously back in February as well, and then just restated it recently. Also, moving on to the stadium, Jason Wright expects to move into a new stadium once the Washington FedEx Field lease expires in five years, so we will not be back in Landover and FedEx Field. I feel like the majority of people hope the stadium goes back to DC, whether it be for just the area itself and like restaurants around, traffic, whatever. And then also like somewhat superstition. We were great when we were playing in DC. We haven't been great since playing in Maryland. So that could also be a part of it as well. For me, I got to fly there anyway. So I've never had like a large enough opinion on it to really state where I prefer it. If most people prefer it in DC, then that's where I prefer it as well. I don't necessarily have my own opinion on it because I have to fly and get on a plane to get there anyway. For me, I guess I just hope it's close to an airport. And then also, of course, Dan Snyder has been doing everything that he can from Virginia, DC, Maryland to see wherever he could get some type of gambling infused type of stadium environment where there can possibly be slot machines where you can bet on the game like we've already had that virtual experience where you can basically answer questions and guess like how many passing yards will the quarterback have this drive and I mean if you were in a certain percentile if you got a certain amount right you would split the pot with a whole bunch of people and make money so I'm pretty sure that was just like a small taste of what Dan Snyder wants to do with the new stadium experience five years from now. He wants to have physical gambling at his stadiums, whichever state or, you know, District of Columbia, whichever one of them allows him to do that. If it's only one of them, I bet that's where the stadium's gonna end up being. Even if he prefers to be in DC, if Virginia is the only one opening to allowing them gambling, then he's probably gonna end up in Virginia. But a lot of signs point to it being DC anyway from a lot of quotes from very important people amongst the organization. It seems like the goal is to go back to DC. So for everybody that wants it to be in DC, rest assured. And it's been a complicated situation as far as gambling goes because I believe it was somebody holding some type of political weight in Maryland was like, I'm not signing off on you being able to have gambling in this stadium until you get rid of the Redskins name. So now that he's done that, he's more likely to be able to gain permission to have gambling in and around his stadium and concerning his franchise in probably Virginia, Maryland and DC now that he's finally made that change. We'll see what the new name will be and if that will make everybody upset again, but we'll see. I doubt it, highly doubt it. But my favorite information that I learned today as far as the stadium goes is that Wright said that the vision for the new stadium is to be a year round entertainment venue for concerts and events. So that's really interesting. Now, I don't know if they're gonna go as far as like the old Raiders stadium in Oakland where they had baseball and football. They would just change the stadium back and forth. I think I remember people hating it, so I highly doubt we do that. But even here in Atlanta, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, the Falcons play here and Atlanta United, the soccer team. So maybe they would do something like that. But it sounds like if they're gonna hold concerts and events, there may even be like a mall attached. I think LA had the concept of having a movie theater. I'm not sure if they actually ended up adding it, but you never know. Maybe we have a movie theater. Maybe we have some type of mall, at least some type of shopping that's not standard for a stadium like just regular merchandise and stuff but like actual like clothes and cologne and like regular stores that you would see at a mall even just beyond merchandise for the team i mean there's limitless possibilities i mean we've seen a lot of these new stadiums the la rams and the charger stadium that they share the las vegas raiders stadium they're cutting edge even the mercedes-benz stadium in atlanta with a retractable roof. It can be a completely regular dome stadium when the weather is bad, but when the weather is fine, they can open it up and now it's a regular stadium. Wide open to the elements, sun beaming down, nice fresh air and everything. So maybe they may employ something like that. TMZ called Dan Snyder and Jason Wright in LA a few weeks ago because they were going to go tour the LA stadium. And while they were being interviewed by TMZ, they said that they've been going around not only America, but even into Europe to a lot of the best soccer stadiums over there to look at what they did right and what they did wrong. And they want to come up with the best possible combination for a new cutting edge stadium. They want their stadium to be the best the day that it's created. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have all kinds of extra stuff involved in the stadium to make it an overall great experience, even for children. There might be a playground in there. It may be like a random little roller coaster ride, like a little mini one, like how they have in Vegas in that one hotel. You never know. It might get really creative again. They may have like extra shopping there, like an outlet, maybe somewhat of a miniature mall or something like that. It sounds like they want this to be a place that people of all ages, of all interests can go and still have fun, even if you don't care about football. 
you can go there with your family and while you're watching the game maybe the people that don't care as much about football whether it be the children or whoever can go shop at the mall that's attached to the stadium and things like that go to a movie or whatever so i'm really interested in seeing how this overall experience is going to turn out either way i think it's going to be cutting edge i think like we don't have to worry about the seats being bad i think the seats are going to be very comfortable i think like air conditioning i think the food serve i think everything is going to be cutting edge that way and then all of the extra stuff we'll see but i think at the very least we're gonna have comfortable seating and it's just gonna be a nice layout a nice comfortable great atmosphere where we can bring back pride to the dmv area but yeah man but yeah man that's the end of this video that's the end of the report please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video please like this video if you liked it if you learned anything i'm pretty sure you learned something so you definitely got to leave a like and as always man i really appreciate all of the support man big shouts out to everybody that donates to the channel big shouts out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors whose names you see scrolling on the screen right now man i really appreciate all y'all a special shout out to my one all pro sponsor Jaden. i'm gonna catch y'all later i'm out